Welcome to the Reality After Show, one of my favorite times of the year. This is season 46 cast assessment. Alex Trius, Wayne Mehmet, Johnny Fairplay, the greatest yeah. villain of all time, as Welcome. seen on House of Villains. Uh, I, uh, Just premiering me. today on the cock. That's right, folks. Uh, if you didn't want to pay $12 to watch on Amazon, if you didn't want to use three different emails to watch it on the e-app, and if you don't happen to have E, like a lot of us didn't, and got Sling TV just for that, canceled quickly thereafter, uh, <laughs> you can go to Peacock, and it is streaming now the entire season. Watch me in all my glory and uh, some of your uh, other greatest villains in the history of reality television fighting for the title of greatest super villain of all time for season one and you'll learn about some other villains you maybe didn't know about like bobby uh bobby lights who was my roommate who may be the craziest villain of all time my favorite and i will say this Jax taylor who came to cincinnati johnny's like oh this is this guy from vanderpump rules i was like i never even heard of that so <laughs> what's up we had him in, we, yeah, so we had him in town <laughs> And then Johnny left uh, the, like a couple days or a day later to go to Fort Wayne, Indiana to play pinball. And uh, Jessica, Johnny's fiance, and Tessa, my wife, and myself decided to, to watch like season one, episode one of Vanderpump Rules. So we watched that together. And Jessica like leaves the next day. Tessa and I continued. I am now, I started watching the finale of uh, season six. Of Vanderpump, <laughs> I love it, and I tell you what, there is a reason why Jax Taylor was on House of Villains. Uh, that guy is a piece of work. Uh, I, he's great TV. Uh, he's a lying, cheating. Uh, <laughs> you know, is it? Uh, it's that good. It's that good. I love, dude. I put, put it this way: we all know I am on the reality after show uh -huh. uh, podcast with Johnny Fairplay. And we've done as shows as punishment like, from God. <laughs> as a yeah. punishment from God, my 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 punishment was getting on Survivor and having to do this podcast with Johnny. Yeah. But in all seriousness, I I don't watch like a ton of like uh, reality TV. Besides, like you know, I've watched some Big Brother, Survivor. I've watched some Amazing Race. We've done uh, whatever that show Marcus Lehman was on. Don't say that too loud. The Amazing <laughs> Race. <laughs> but yeah, say, dude, it, say it three times and you have leo and you're in uh in a litter box outside your house <laughs> but vanderpump rules is gr i love watching it it's constant drama and and i love the fact that uh, i know who Jax taylor is now and uh so he was definitely and bobby lights i i got to really see on house of villains a lot of people that i, I didn't see their tv shows i think it was a great cast johnny um i hope they do a season two they're uh, uh they, they they are. Filming next week. Hey, what's that? They're filming next week. Oh wow, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Damn. Well, there you go. And uh so honestly, uh I hate to even uh say this, but I I, I will probably be down, Johnny, if it, if there's some survivor people on there's House there, of Villains there's too. Potentially one. Okay. If there's potentially one, uh I might consider podcasting about house of villains too because i think it's a great concept i think it's yeah. a great show uh it's a wonderful show if you haven't watched it i'll give you my peacock password you can go watch it yes. there you go. Let's, let's share uh, just dm me just dm me i don't care what are they gonna do fire me i don't care i barely use it <laughs> but next week is the a uh, freaking season premiere of Survivor 46. Johnny Fairplay, let the people know where you are going to be, my friend. New York City. Yes, New York City. Uh, I, <laughs> I just have to say it like the El Paso commercial or whatever <laughs> that was. Uh, yeah, Bryson Wynn present Johnny Fairplay. I'm there. Uh, I'm not alone. I got Sari Fields is going to be there. My favorite Big Brother player ever. Um, <laughs> that, I love I God, I love Suri so much. Is, is that her bio? I, man, I want to go there I just so. to, just to hang with Suri. Yeah, uh, some guy named Yam Yam is gonna be there. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> oh, shots for no. I love Jam Jam. So it's 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 uh in the brotherhood and sisterhood of Survivor. It's good to have the you know the 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 
the brother that you go tit for tat with, you have a little fun with on social media. Jam Jam, I love you. Uh, he oh, will yeah. be there. We're all excited. Uh, Katura, Eliza, Victoria, Maddie, Dwight, Lindsay, Janine, all from Survivor, from Big Brother, Izzy, Jared, that's right, three son Jared, uh, Derek Frazier from The Amazing Race, don't say it three times, uh, Brooke Hammy, she's a winner, Greg Franklin, also a winner, Morgan Franklin, and Corey McArthur, that's, we're not done, from Squid Game, that's right, we got Phil Chain, Dash, and Dan from Survivor Quebec, we have Martin, I met Martin, he's a, he's a cool guy, uh, Joel, this is Survivor Quebec? Survivor Quebec. It's in French. Is it all in French? I was no. going to say, learn some French. French. Yeah. <laughs> Watch that. I want to so, know less of what's going on. <laughs> so Sylvian will be there in front of the mole. Pranov, also unadvertised because I haven't told Bryson Wendell. Jen Hoffman, uh, you may know her from The Apprentice Season 6, but also from Reality After Show, giving the awesomest uh, coverage and feedback, talking traitors, and also uh, a look back at Survivor Pro Islands. So, uh, yeah, star started event. Go to, uh, on your socials, at Bryce and Wynn Present has the link there. Uh, also check out uh, at Bryce Isaiah and at Wendell Holland. There'll be the links there. Um, and, yeah, I'll be there. Pretty excited. Uh, it's, a, it's a premiere that I get to, you know, just show up for and enjoy uh, more than life itself. I, I'm actually I'm taking the train in, and so the the party starts at 6 p.m. for VIP. I'm taking a train in that arrives at Madison Square Garden, Penn Station at 6:01 p.m. <laughs> I am literally just coming with a book bag, dressed for the party, and one mile away I'll be at the where is it the Ainsworth the Ainsworth the Ains something. I don't know. Wherever it is in New York, I will be there, <laughs> and I am going straight from the train station. I I have never cut it this close, but it seems perfect, so why not? Is Jessica going, Johnny, or just you? Uh, maybe. We haven't decided. Right on. And you usually take that. You're a fan of the train. I love that. The Amtrak, it's $119 or $114. I don't know. One of those. It's a hundred and some dollars. And uh, I get on. It's it's the train station in Danville, Virginia. is two miles from my house. I'm there at 8 a.m. I have a cooler packed with IPAs. And uh, by the time I get off that train at 6.01, I am ready for something. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> That's fun. I might yeah. have to take a train Dang. trip sometime. Never yeah. done Je that Jessica Let's gets go. it. Jessica buys the box of wine, mm -hmm. but takes takes the bag out of the out of the box. It's like uh like like a IV drip and yeah. hangs it up and ju just drinks from the tap. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so, That's amazing. It's, uh, it's quite some college moments there. Yeah, quite a scene. <laughs> so uh, so join me. That is uh, next Wednesday night, New York City. Uh, Bryce and Wynn present. Johnny Fairplay will be there. Get your tickets now. Go to at Bryce and Wynn present on your socials for more info. But uh, speaking of season 46, we got a cast allegedly and uh we always say this at the end mm -hmm. so let's say this at the beginning yes we uh the we're we're gonna show a picture we're, we're gonna get there uh uh we're gonna get some some observations of, of of some of these contestants and and we're gonna make just 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 first just just guesses on how we think they'll do in in the game of survivor possibly in the game of life uh, and, uh, this is a podcast and, uh, it's, it's for entertainment purposes. So we're going to have a little fun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm sure in real life, all of these people are wonderful people. I, I, I will, I am fortunate enough to be able to call them these, these, uh, no, they're not the, the, some, some, <laughs> of these, some of these people, uh, survivor brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And, uh, maybe some I'll be called them. first boot. <laughs> some, I, there could be several first boots. I, who knows? I think this, this will be our most first boots ever. <laughs> this, it could be. So, but once again, we're sure they're wonderful people. We're just having fun here. Uh, but uh, I usually say at the end, but after that, they've already turned off the podcast because I've said the meanest things in the world about them. <laughs> so, with that being said, uh, links to Australian Survivor are, are available <laughs> at realitypatron.com. That's reality, P A T R O N.com. If you love Survivor, we all do. And you like to really love Survivor because, you know, when you watch the show and you want to enjoy it, realitypatron.com has links to Australian Survivor. If you want three hours of Survivor a week, 
that isn't birdcage quests, you're going to like Australian Survivor. <laughs> really like them. So I, I'm not saying the current season, Titans versus Rebels, is the best season of all time. However, it might be the best season of all time. <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't put it up there with best season. It's a very good season. I'll have to see it's, how it plays out. It's very I, fun. I, tw- what, 11 episodes in, no duds yet. And uh, the cast is just phenomenal. I would say the one that they were building up as the biggest blindside ever was a pretty big dud because they built it up so much. Yeah, it was it not the really biggest blindside ever. But yeah, the biggest was tribal not. ever was the biggest tribal ever. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. Yeah. yeah I but mean, you know. but I, I would call that one a dud just because they built it up so much. It was like it got to my social media feed like from Australia. Like not like not from a survivor, just from someone I know in Australia. Be like, I can't wait for this, and I'm like, oh man. Oh, and and if you're looking for coverage on Australian Survivor, we have it here as well with Johnny and Dan leading the way, as well as many guests from the Australian Survivor family. Yeah, we had uh, we had Jerry last week, and we have uh, we have uh, uh, the wood chipper. We got uh, uh, Gerald the wood chipper, and if you become a patron. That's available in the outcast that Daryl the wood chipper. Uh, Dang. So also, I'm going to make it and we're going to drink milk together. So that's how you Car- start the podcast. Caroline. I'm going to have a glass season. of milk. Uh, and uh, who else? Oh, and then Jerry. We, we all love beautiful Jerry. So, uh, so yeah. So uh, before we start, can I, can I just start with this? Um, I did. I didn't do a, a whole lot of homework folks mm-hmm. and, uh, and that's okay. We, we like no one that's said the point of the podcast. No one said there'd be homework, but, but, but what I've gathered just through conversations and, and, and a little peek here and there and, uh, and, and, and through osmosis, a lot of this cast were bullied uh, when, when they were kids. Um, peek behind the curtain, folks. This is, this is a spoiler. Um, if you were not bullied when you were a kid, that means your life peaked at 17 and you're a fucking loser. Yeah. Okay? We were all bullied. Yeah. That's what makes us amazing people in adulthood. Because we look mm-hmm. back on our childhood, and that one asshole with his fat wife that won't fuck him, uh, that his life is over. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So we I'll were all bullied. bullied. We were all that person. <laughs> so it's Matt okay. Wasn't bullied. <laughs> but we don't have to talk about it. And and that and we don't need we don't need an origin story. (laughs) It was all of us. So if you're that guy going, I I wasn't bullied. You're not having sex tonight. I promise you. (laughs) Matt, Matt, are you having sex tonight? Uh, probably not tonight because it'll be late when I'm done here. See, Matt wasn't bullied in high school. (laughs) He was not bullied in high school. He was only pegged. Uh, But God is. His wife, he was packed, he, but his wife did find a gym, unlike the, the ones that peaked at 17. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, so, right, folks, we get it. You were, we all, okay? So, can, can, we, can we subtract the, uh, can we tr- subtract the origin bully story from 18 people on, on mm-hmm. the new era cast? And, and, and you know what? That, that's also like casting. Y'all, we get it. We get it. We get it. Mission accomplished. You know what? You know what? You know what? Save it for the show. Yeah. I don't, I don't need to even hear. I don't even need to hear about it in the lead up to the show because we know you're going to talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. You because have every it. other episode, there's going to be a journey, and at least two of those people are going to have to talk about something. Yeah. You know, I I used to be a little bit chubbier in high school, and oh. then I started working out. And I joined oh. the track team, hey. and now look at me. Now I had three abs. <laughs> and that, that, look gotta, at that! Like, gotta made. do the work. Do the gotta work. Do the work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Hey, I just want to hear from them. Can they climb a ladder? Oh. <laughs> Please, no! I don't give a shit how many nerds there are this season. But if you you, you, you cannot climb a ladder, and if you if no. there's two quitters, I'm going to be so unbelievably pissed off. Well. Spoiler. I could not <laughs> it, it, sounds, it sounds like there might be some nights where it's just me and Dan. I, 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 I see some uh I see some non-ladder climbers in in, in, in our next hour of coverage. <laughs> All right. You can't so have a whole season Jeff, of underdogs. Jeff's about to say there are no water comps 
It's <laughs> all on land. We're, uh, we're Johnny's going to bring you PDFs uh, of each contestant. And um, yeah, so like I Here's said, the first one, uh, Johnny Fairplay looks like a stud, probably, <laughs> probably bullied. We don't need to talk about it. Uh, and living his best life at 49. Definitely bullied. <laughs> definitely, definitely bullied. Look at that hair. Definitely bullied. Yeah, for sure, bu- for sure bullied. <laughs> the, yeah, there's like a little dollar store version of him currently on Australian Survivor. There well. is. He's great. Yeah, Ray. Ray is awesome. Ray, the Dollar General, uh, the Dollar General Johnny Fairplay. Yes, <laughs> Timu Fairplay. Yeah, All right, Timu. 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 <laughs> That's better. That's way better. Thank you. Okay. All right, uh, we start off with Hunter McKnight. Damn, uh, best name, number one name of the whole cast, right? Possibly there. best name in the new era of Survivor. Hunter, Hunter McKnight. Hunter McKnight. Maybe my next World of Warcraft character that. This guy, I mean, I would imagine a cocksmith. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. God. With a name like Hunter McKnight, this this dude was doing keg stands and and having unprotected sex in college. I'm surprised he's allowed to wear shorts that short. <laughs> Where, where's the uh the, the the cargo pockets? I don't know. They're holding his balls. Yeah, is, is he is he not nerdy enough for this cast? Well, he, I mean, here's the thing with this he's guy, the right? He's the alpha. He's the alpha. He's the, alpha. This the, the <laughs> science teacher is the alpha. He's five but three, he's the nerd, but he's the nerd <laughs> of Australian Survivor. That's he's what he five, is. He's five foot three, is what we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's the thing with this guy. So I brought a couple things up. He's a science teacher. Yeah. So three of his hobbies, you guys, are building Survivor challenges, playing any sport. And camping. So I will say, okay. if he is true to those three hobbies, I think Survivor is going to be very well for him because he seems he's very smart, but he also seems maybe he's somewhat athletic. But he not says, if he's uh, a tribe of nerds that, that are scared of him. Yeah. So he says he's hardworking, competitive, a bit odd. Uh, okay, and then he, he says he's, uh, you know, his, his accomplishment he's most proud of is making it through all of school without making anything below an A. I graduated college in 3.5 years. So he's very smart. So like I he may not have been doing upside down keg stands and and as much unprotected sex as I'm thinking. <laughs> with, with, yeah, with, with three and a half years of college with a 4.0. <laughs> but but I, I think um the fact that he actually likes to camp, he's gonna he at least knows what he's kind of getting into potentially. Uh he's 28, so I think he's got enough life experience to really kind of navigate like a social thing of of survivors. So you know, uh, I, I've heard rumors that this is a nerdy cast. I have not really dove into anything. This yeah. is my first appearance. Uh, so far, Hunter, uh, you got a good little beard. <laughs> hey, I, maybe he's going to uh, kick some ass on Survivor. All right. Luck, so pre, pre, pre-merge, hey, what, post-merge. Winner. He's going to make the merge. Merge. Okay. All yep. right. Wayne, yeah. Wayne, where are you at? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm when I whatever I'm voting for is kind of what I hope happens. It's yeah, like no. kind of thing happens. But uh, I mean, I like to see him post merge. Uh, I think, I mean, potentially top three. He's like smart. He's you know, goofy. Like he seems like you could you know all those intangibles. He's like young enough that he's not going to be seen as an old guy, but he's not like a child. You know, like he has real life experience potentially. And so, yeah, I, it, you know. I, Post merge for sure. Of twenty eight being considered old. Yeah, the old guy. <laughs> no, like, but he's, that, he's, that, he's, I, I am twenty eight right now. You're the old right, guy, right? No, but he's but he's not old. But like you've lived a life at you can yeah. you can't have lived a life at twenty eight like and for learned sure. how to for sure talk to people. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm as the gonna... old man of this podcast, uh, <laughs> I agree as well. Uh, I think I see him being post merge. Where post merge? Who's to say? I don't think he's our winner. But I think we we will like him, and then we're gonna be like, why did the nerds take him out? Full revenge of the nerds moment at some point in time. Sure. Yeah. Well, who is just refresh my memory? What past survivor would you play the game most like? He put Hayden. Is Hayden. that Hayden from Big Brother? Yes. Yeah, okay. I think Hayden from yeah Blood versus Water. Yeah. Well, let me just tell you this. <laughs> I it, it is at least nice to hear someone different than the normal 
people. Oh, don't sorry. worry. Everyone always says. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. There are some very different answers in those. I'll take a different answer. Uh, One of them uh, is an entire season. Oh, perfect. Uh, that, <laughs> <laughs> they they never cease it, to it, it's, it's it's almost as good as Gabler's. Why are you going to win Survivor? Yes. Yes. Okay. You know, <laughs> you know what? It was yep. a spoiler. Yes. Uh, he looks like he has the ability to climb a ladder. That's nice. Yes. Uh, <laughs> he makes challenges, so you, you would think he also makes the, some of the like what would be considered a physical challenge. Yeah, I, in I, US I, Survivor. I, I like hearing that he builds challenges and not has a 3D puzzle maker. Yes, me too. So that 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 or 3D printer to make puzzles. Uh, that that I like. Uh, so far, he's my winner pick until something changes. <laughs> that's a hey, great start. Yeah, you yeah. know what? I think at this point in time, we can all say Hunter is our winner pick. Yeah, yeah. So until and, I see something else, <laughs> until I, until I see something else, he he is my winner pick. Uh, so so far so good, folks. I mean, should we stop now? <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, if there's 17 <laughs> other hunters on this, yeah, great season. Great season. Okay. Well, what 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 can go wrong? Oh, oh God. Liz Liz Wilcox. <laughs> Thirty five years old, Orlando, Florida, marketing strategist. Uh. She's probably she, quirky. I mean, she, you don't you don't live the, in Orlando, uh, Florida. Who's who's the who's the girl that that dresses like a uh, Donald Duck? Aubrey. She's giving me Aubrey vibes. Well, uh, Aubrey, yeah. but more like free, like free spirited. You sure. know, she's got a whole ass sweatband on her head. Let, like let she, me tell you like guys. She's like, definitely, even though she's a marketing strategist, I think she would consider herself no collar if she was on like Worlds Apart season. Uh. Yeah. Here's the thing with Liz Wilcox, though. I'm I'm reading a couple things right uh, the, uh, briefly to let you guys know what's going on. Yeah, uh, she looks like she was living and blogging in an RV at one point to becoming I'm... a single mom and a marketing strategist. Right, so she's been married before. Uh, her three yeah. hobbies that she loves are running, telling jokes, and making money. Ha! Uh, oh, yeah. she, she, I saw the joke at the end there. So yeah. she left. Like I mean, she, she left a bad. Run, but... Yeah, she left a bad marriage. So she has props to that. Uh, here, here's something weird. She was mute until the age of seven. Uh, had a crazy nervous tick and would hyperventilate from nerves. Now I'm a public speaker in the face of my company. You would never guess. And she likes to play the game like Russell or Sandra. So let me say this. 35. She's a Russ, she, she's be been racist. married. Uh, I think <laughs> that she, I think she's gonna not do Sandra, not decent. Sandra. Sandra's not, <laughs> Sandra's not a racist. I just gotta get on record. I don't I'm no, not no, yeah. My my, at all. my 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 <laughs> one of my big issues with her is say she wanted to play like Russell or Sandra, and that those are two very different paths. Very different, like. I, I don't know where you find the, the Venn diagram that has the similarities between both of them. Uh, you, you have a multi-time loser versus a multi-time winner. Do we uh, need to know where Liz was January 6th? So, <laughs> so. I honestly, uh, I, I was expecting another super duper nerd. I mean, I, I feel like living in an RV takes some balls. Uh, you know, she, I, she has a kid. So she's obviously a strong woman. Um, and, you know, marketing strategist, I don't know how detailed of, of a career she has, but she could be very smart and super strategic. I'm, I'm hoping, Liz, that you're strategic and you've overcome a lot of, like, you know, divorce and single mom and all this stuff. So, hey, I, I hope you do well. I, I'm saying Liz is going to make it to the merge. Um, so so I'm going to go hard opposite from you. Yep. I'm, I'm I, nothing taking away nothing from her personal life. So that, that what you said, I agree with probably yes. whatever <laughs> you say you want to play like Sandra or Russell means you have no fucking idea what you're doing. 
You have no, you have no idea. You couldn't tell me the first thing about Sandra's game. Like you couldn't say like, this is what defines Sandra's game. Whereas all of us could probably, def- you know, like say what her general strategy is. And I can't, I'm yeah, sure one yeah. person in particular could. <laughs> one person in particular knows, but, but I, I would say this about Sandra's like, if you watch are watching traders this season, like you're getting a, a class in how Sandra plays reality television shows without all the extra bullshit of like survivor around. It. like it is this is what she does exactly and she's gonna win but um yeah but uh, on liz i don't think i mean i'm gonna say pre-merge because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> no you might, and, and that's, me wrong, but that's my biggest issue because one it shows i feel like she was just like uh, uh, uh i don't know an answer let me just name the first two like names that pop out of my head which means and if that then goes into her mind like oh that's how i need to play i think she might lean towards more into the Russell side of like trying to be the controller of things. Mm -hmm. And I think depending how that vibes, I'm going to say, I'm going to say pre-merch for, uh, for Liz. Yeah. I kind of see my game kind of like either Russell or Rupert, me personally. (laughs) Um, I feel that my, my game. I, w- I either want to play like Ethan or Coach. So, oh, um. <laughs> it. same, same in, in all fairness, when they ask you these questions, like you're like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, Johnny, you're at like that LA interview kind of thing. Or, and you're I don't think I was the- asked these questions. I didn't get to go to survivor school. I don't think I was asked these stupid well, questions. Well, yeah, I, I, at the time that also, Matt is applying, yeah. So, when, when, I was doing, these when I was doing the Caramo and stuff, I believe. We we got drilled and, and you're super nervous because this is like you're you're God I'm gonna be on Survivor and uh, they yeah, ask you these season. questions. My my answer was Lex Vandenberg and uh, you know I, I watched every season. Great. I loved Lex and that's who I said I, I wanted to play the game like. Yeah. Um, I think some people just give like Wayne was saying just like a a nervous quick reaction of like oh who are my two of my favorite kind of styles and they just rattle it out. So Liz, I don't I don't hold it against you like I'm Wayne is here. But uh we'll see. I hope I hope you prove oh, well, all of us. My wrong. my counterpoint is we're now 46 seasons in and all these people are super duper mega whatever fans. Mm-hmm. Uh you know you're you, you know you know all the questions are gonna be asked. You probably are criticizing the people during all the times that say like when half the cat says, I'm gonna play like Parvati, I'm gonna play like Tony. I'm like, you well, you can't. It's like saying you're going to play like Johnny. Like no one can play like Johnny. You might as well just say, have Johnny I'm play a game that you <laughs> haven't played before. Damn, has anybody gone up there and said I'm going to like Liz go up and be like I'm going to play like Liz Wilcox? Yeah, someone's Ooh, done that. You know, just some, like some, some, some have done that. But yeah, like, but, but they, they 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 didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hey, Matt, it's because they played like themselves. Matt, I just yeah, put up your bio from uh, Kara Moen, and it and it says <laughs> uh, that you would like to play like Lex Vandenberg and Brandon Hans. So that yeah, that, right. That's <laughs> Pretty, pretty, oh, pretty, you pretty comparable ass. character arcs. Oh, <laughs> I get oh, that. So funny. Yeah. Like, I, uh, yeah, you know, brand uh, blindly loyal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, his blogger really <laughs> also has tattoos. All right, we got like forty more motherfuckers. Yeah, let's go. Okay, pre merge blogger's not really a job. Stop it, folks. I'm not. I'm not listening. To that. All right. Uh, Randon Montavo. Damn, Randon I'm naming my first Montavo. son that. Wow. All right. So, also uh, 41 years old, Orlando, Florida, aerospace tech. So he he he's he's a nerd by definition. However, looks looks normal. We're we're two out of three, folks. I would once say- again possible winner pick for me. <laughs> Well, let me just tell before we go into yeah. our all of our opinions. Talk me out of it, Matt. So, so three of his <laughs> hobbies: running, endurance marathons. All right. Uh, sports cars and extreme sports. Right. Hey. So, whatever that means. Uh, but it's modern survivor. None of that matters. Well, then, then well, the extreme. That means he drinks Mountain Dew. He, he <laughs> says his friends would describe him as relentless, uh, and he wants to play like Xander. Um, so he's uh oh wait, hold on. Oh what uh, was what risks have you taken to make your life better? Right? Move to another state, decided to start a family and join the military, 
while in an existing career to create a foundation for my children. So that's a long winded answer. He's got military. He's got kids, extreme sports. I think he's uh, on his bio. He's trying to put out there that he's this like really badass and all these different things. Yeah. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. not seeing a uh, pro no, see BMXer or, or a uh, parkour runner or skateboarder. Uh, <laughs> is, I, parkour runner is really, <laughs> it is dude. Uh, parkour right. now is like, a, like an action sport, dude. It's like those guys, if you ever, if anyone searches on Instagram, that's the craziest shit. Yeah, and, and, when, mind, and, when you, and when you see him running and jumping off of tree to tree, then what? He's not going to yeah. like, like Xander, he's obviously this guy's not a long term survivor fan. If you're if you're naming somebody that's played, but I like it. I, I'll seasons, take a recruit. I like it. He uh yeah. he he's someone maybe more recent. Yes. Uh picks someone who made it to the end of the game. Yep. yep. In 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 many regards, after the fact as well, uh underrated in his mm-hmm. game. <clears throat> and you know, maybe that shows a little bit of appreciation or or he just likes stew as well, and he's waiting for that stew reward to make its return. I, I mean, <laughs> okay. for me, I, I I think he's gonna make the merch. Brandon Montalvo uh, doesn't really strike me as a big personality type player. I think he's just gonna kind of lay in the background, kind of blend in, as my kids would say, like he's an NPC. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so he's kind of player. He's a, he's he's are you are you <laughs> predicting that he's one of our purple edits of this season? Yeah, possibly. I mean, it looks like they tried to find like a Jesse Lopez 2.0 kind. He's got that same. Well, no, th- this one this one went to the gym before. Jesse went after. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does endurance marathons. Like the dude's ready. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm a little nervous that we already have two guys on the same tribe that seem to be like the nerd but more athletic type. This, are, are this... they are they loading this tribe up? Yeah, I, I this tribe is getting zero airtime until the merge. <laughs> but but then oh, okay, so this is all in the same six person tribe, right? Yeah, yeah. we're doing tribe. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we got we got we got two potential studs, even though they both might be five two. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and because of that, I think like he might get some and wearing the same uh, shorts. Big, well, they <laughs> might get this? some Jesse comparisons just based off of just certain characteristics are similar, and yeah. that could be a little more. And if you already have one guy on the tribe that seems to be athletic and knows what he's doing during the challenges, do you really need to have two? Yeah. Well, we've we've heard this answer on Australian Survivor uh this season in in the prepared yeah, answers. Yeah, if you want to Yeah, if you want to get it added out of half the season, you have two strong guys and go win every challenge. <laughs> yeah. You are non survivor. I'm I'm final eight. <laughs> I, I've literally been on 15 episodes. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> Show me where. Where on these episodes were you? I haven't seen uh, you. See, <laughs> What's see, your name? Right there in the corner. In the in the, in the back. corner. Right in the back. That's my that's my shoulder. That's my foot. That's my shoulder. <laughs> that's me behind the blogger. Uh, but but anyway, um I do like him. I think he's somewhere in between could go off right before the merge or you know whatever the stupid mergatory thing is oh, God, or so like much. early merge boot i refuse to say mergatory <laughs> i think you know I, I i i'm the person who has to say it okay well you're the one yeah i'm job. the one i'm the one all right matt you're thinking post-merge yeah i think you're just gonna blend in and just all right. through. wayne yeah i'll say post-merge just because Based on what I've heard in these three people we've seen, I think Nami's got a good chance of just running it for a while. Okay. And Alex? Yep. Yeah. I, I'll I'll say post merge. Uh, post merge. Not. I'm sticking with Hunter McKnight just because he has a better name. But Randon Mon- Montalvo, pretty cool name too. Just Dude, that's a James Bond villain right there. He is a James Bond villain. So, <laughs> uh, he he yeah. is no cocksmith. Uh, Hunter McKnight. No, Hunter McKnight Hunter is McKnight. also. Also, good name for an R and B singer, like back in the eighties. Uh huh. Oh yeah, Brian McKnight. Mm, Brian yeah. McKnight's younger brother, Hunter. Hunter. Oh man, quite the quite the ladies' man. All right. Mm-hmm. Soda Thompson. Up in the north, we call her Pop. Um. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Twenty-seven years old from Lake. I, I wrote that a long time ago. I'm not going to lie. You, you ready, you ready for this one? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, from Lake uh, Hobokong, New Jersey. 
She is a special ed teacher. Uh, Matt Bischoff, you start. Okay, so her hobbies are singing, taking walks, doing random crafts. Uh, she says she's intentional, determined, and empathetic. Uh, here's the thing. What past survivor would you play the game most like? The answer yeah, is season 42. I That's the one. <laughs> okay. Then she's like deathly afraid of butterflies. She cannot be anywhere in the same field as one. Uh, I don't and, remember seeing a butterfly on Survivor, so she might be okay. And then here's the deal. She got married. She gets, She's like, I got married super young to a man from Brazil. I had only known six months. He is amazing. It really worked out. Okay. Her cool. answers are so generic and boring and not interesting oh, wow. that uh, fired. I, uh, I, I, I mean, just looking at her compared to who we've uh, looked at previously, I don't think necessarily she's going to be like some amazing athletic physical uh, competitor and survivor is very hard. Now, I don't know what the challenges are going to be. Uh, she looks very nice. I think she, as a special ed teacher, I think that's super cool. I think she's beautiful. But I don't know if Survivor, if you can't uh, stand butterflies, you're not going to be able to stand rashes and rats and centipedes and scorpions and, uh, you know, crazy stuff. Pre-merge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so counterpoint. Yeah. Counterpoint. Oh. Sari was afraid of leaves. That's true. Oh, there you go. And I love Sari. So, so maybe she, maybe that? maybe Pop will <laughs> grow yeah, for this experience. But uh, in, in full seriousness, um, I like the special ed teacher background. I think she's going to be someone who she's not relying on being a challenge person to make it farther in the game. She's going to be relying on people liking her, the connections that she makes with you. I think that's good. And I think also with being a special ed teacher comes with having a lot of patience mm -hmm. and with other people that may have less of that, that might become valuable in an ally you want to have. So maybe not someone that you would keep for tribe strength, but maybe someone you would keep as someone that you think could be a good ally. Mm -hmm. But so I we keep talking about tribe strength and I'll just say like after the last two seasons, like I don't think tribe strength really matters because the challenges aren't difficult. Like they're not really a challenge at all. That said, she's either like you guys have said, like going to be well liked, you know, maybe not carried, but be like part of that social game of an alliance kind of deal. Or she's our first quitter. So she, please, she's please don't quit, to, Shana. She, she's either going to the end or she's our first quitter. That's, I mean, because that's it's all based on the afraid of butterflies. Is that like a weird, quirky thing that she just said under pressure, or is that like a very real thing? Because if it's a very real thing, she's going to quit. If I'm really like weird... hoping it's just exaggeration, right? Exactly. And also, she also she has something to protect here. People from New Jersey do well on Survivor. Mm -hmm. Well, and Alex, I mean, to your uh, y'all's point. Special ed teachers are patient as hell. They can put up yeah. with a lot of bullshit. And that's really what the social game on Survivor is. How much bullshit can you put up with that without like showing your cards to anybody else? That's, I mean, that's really what it is. Like sit there and take all this information in and be the sounding board. And then you can find yourself. I mean, that's what Sari did. You know, you're a part of everyone's deal. And then you're just like, oh, I'm still here. Yeah. Uh, honestly, <laughs> end of the day. Don't fuck up the puzzle that you're going to be on at the end of the challenge. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Like day one or two, make sure you get that, that puzzle, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll bring us back, but I, I you guys, what are we here? Like, real quick. Uh, Matt pre-merge pre-merge Wayne. I, I if if she if the butterflies thing is not real, I'm gonna say post merge. If the butterflies thing is real, I'll say pre merge. All right, Alex. That's that's a weird um, thing. To I'm say. I'm I'm hedging my bets that this tribe is going farther, and I already said one person was pre merge. So post merge. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love Soda and her husband. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Dude. And they were both at the premiere party last year. <laughs> Dang, that's dope. So that's uh, awesome. 
yeah, they're uh, they're both incredible. I love Soda. I may love her husband even more. I mean, but they're they're both like it's it's one okay. A one B. They're 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 both right. incredible. Uh, incredible vibes from both. Uh, then I'll say post merge. Then I'll say post merge. No, no, no. You can't change. I see. This is why. This is why. Oh, see if I would have seen this slide before, I would have had a totally different uh, see, see, opinion. I, I, I was just on a certain wavelength there. I had an idea. No, to be fair, I said if so, the butterflies thing is probably not real. If she's got a good vibe, then that's not real. So then my st- my first thing of if it's not real, then post merge. Okay. okay. I did say like I think she's post merge. She seems like the type of player, especially with what we said, where this tribe probably has enough strength. And honestly. Survivor puzzles are so simple. And if she is a special education teacher, a lot of the education tools are like very basic puzzles. So she probably, if she's spending her whole day with children, like working on like these very simple puzzles, she's probably good at puzzles, you know, like. Mm -hmm. You are not, you are not ready for that. Were you? No, No, not at all. That's awesome. That's really cool. Pop Thompson. But blood versus water. I like I like soda soda and her and her man. Uh, yeah, good yeah. people, good people, love them. All right. Uh, Next person. Uh oh. All right. Tevin Davis, twenty four years yeah. old from uh, my state, kind of. I'm, I'm I'm on the border, <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> he's an actor. No, he's not. Not from Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, like, what, 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 <laughs> we do like before and after commercials for braces. What? He has to say, student <laughs> films don't count. I will. I will say, I'm a hand model. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I, I like I like Tevin's vibe. I like the vibe that they're giving off. You know, I, I like this whole pose. I like this. I think they'll probably be fun on the show, but not an actor from Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> uh, I, w- I will say he, he's been the name that's been popping up the most. Like, I don't know a lot about this cast, but Tevin in particular, even like when I was, when I was starting to find the people so I could follow them on social media to figure out what's going on. He pops up the most, not just from like the fan stuff, him and himself just keeps popping up. Like he seems to be one of the more personality casting mm-hmm. of, uh, for this season. Yeah, it's Jam Jams. It's this is this, this is this tribe's Jam Jam. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm typically yeah. entertained by. Uh, I mean, he looks like he's gonna be fun, like a Bryce Isaiah kind of person. That's what I was uh, thinking. Yeah. So he says he's a country boy at heart, but I'm I'm you know don't ever think I'm too good to get a little messy. Uh, favorite survivors or who you play the game most like? Johnny's gonna hate this one. Uh, Marianne and oh. Cochran. Okay. Uh, done. <laughs> Marianne was cool. Cochran's Johnny hates Cochran's win and, and yep. everything else. Cochran won my season. Kara Moen. Uh, you so, know, says uh, a lot about Matt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he's real into theater. Tevin is. Um, okay. I would hope. And he likes going to the beach, listening to music and fashion slash shopping. Uh, I think he's going to be super fun. Uh, whether he's good at the game or not, that's to be determined. But I do think that he's going to be one of these people that's like, we, we s- s- welcome to Survivor Season 46. I can see Tevin. I'm going to say it right now. He has the first confessional of the season. He's going to have some totally wacky, like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm on Survivor. Uh, like, I, I, I feel yeah. like he's just going to be a big character. And, and- uh, I and and Tevin looks real fit, so it adds to the tribe's strength. No, like, he's wearing his fit. He's not that. Fit. <laughs> I mean, he, yeah. I mean, if they if if Tevin serves, he's lean. Like, he's lean. He's lean. He's spelt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah uh, he's got, mus- he's he's my, got muscle I, definition in the arms. You can see the muscle. But I, what I want to see is I want to see during the season a moment in time where he talks about he's gonna hype up his acting. And he's like, no one's going to believe me. And then you're going to oh, cut yeah. to a bunch of confessionals from everyone being like, we don't believe a yeah, single thing this dude is saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an actor. Yeah, no, yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I yeah. can't yeah. believe I'm going home. Oh, this guy's the idol. <laughs> oh, I'm, I didn't I'm, do I'm, anything I'm on my... No. Yeah, that, that's back what I want. Journey. I want that like it's funny, gone. funny like Dodo-ish edit. He, he goes on the journey, the first journey, and he gets uh, an advantage and he has to come back and sell it. And there's a cut of him talking about how he's an actor 
to sell it. That's he's like, he's like, I dip my hand into the seawater and put some tears in my eyes. Yeah, um, <laughs> boy, that shit stings. All right, uh, all right. I like him. I think he's gonna make merge. I think he's gonna be a fun character on the show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think this tribe's only losing one person. All right, Wayne, you got post without knowing anything. Uh, I I think this tribe's only gonna lose one person. I've already said that person, so I'm gonna say post merge. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you're you're Alex. You're post merge. Yeah, I'll say I want him to be post merge. Yeah, me too. All right. I I I, uh, <laughs> I looked up Tevin Davis on IMDb because he is an actor, you know, and uh, there's no picture, uh, of course, oh. <laughs> and uh, he is known for self uh, a contestant on Survivor 2024 is the <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Yeah, start end, somewhere. End, uh, well, I think he's theater actor. It said theater, so I, I think he's theater actor. You know, probably you know, whatever. Okay, well, what's I'm, not, I'm not going on a theater. <laughs> I'm not going on a deep dive here. Okay, right, so no, so does does he bring out your beverages in between uh, <laughs> in between acts? <laughs> he comes out there, he goes, he goes, and I am the murderer. W would you like onion rings? Oh yeah, okay, yeah. sure, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> like they're doing the big reveal at the end. I'm like, y'all got more hot sauce. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one second. One second. Yeah, just, I'm just done. really. I'm. 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 I'm the mystery. I'm. I'm the killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's great. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> Texas Pete, not Tabasco, please. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have the extra hot Texas Pete? I love that. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, you're. Hey, he's the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Tevin, I will tip you when I come see you at the Barn Dinner Theater or whatever they call the place that you work at and serve <sighs> delicious prime rib cut for 80 people. All right. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm going opposite. I'm, uh, okay. I'm going to emerge just, just to be different. All right. Uh, Venus Vafa. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They... Boom. 24 years old, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. If only I'd known, I would have worn my Toronto hat. She's a data analyst. Who knows what that means? Um, oh, who oh, cast my fiance? Uh, <laughs> who cast my fiance on, 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 <laughs> on, 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 on U.S. Survivor? So this tribe is yes. the best tribe of the new era. Are, are we? Are we all in agreement? I mean, it seems like a good one. It seems First like a good tribe. It's great. Yeah. Like that shirt alone has not been worn by anyone else in this era. I, I'm Dude, this, this, way. this person was Venus was cast on name alone. V Venus, Venus was cast on Love Island, and somehow her application fell in the wrong folder. And, and this we're is, fortunate enough to have her on the show. <laughs> I'll say this is best named tribe. I will absolutely say this is the tribe right? with the best names of the oh God. We got a, Venus Vafa and Hunter McKnight. Come on, and Re Ronaldo. What's his name? Renard. Something. Sure. <laughs> sure. Venus yeah. Vafa. That is is. That's we're 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 on the bubble of a poor name. Oh yeah, I mean Hunter uh, McKnight too. Bubble, <laughs> I'll burst your bubble. I just go. I'm. <laughs> yeah, so I like tea. Venus. <laughs> uh, I uh, so so Venus. Look, she's a she's a uh, she she hopes to go into immigration law to help those like her parents who struggled to move from Iran to Canada. Right? She talks about the bully and stuff like that. Uh, uh, we she's get a softy, but here's the deal. She wants to play the game like poverty or Sari. Um, biggest accomplishments is just kind of graduating from a university. And she said what you know, she had two choices. One was go to a college close by her house where she could commute, or two, go to a college eight hours away. Uh, but you'd have to, you know, have a bigger um responsibility and and owe a lot of money at the end of the day. But she said it was the best decision of her life to go away to school eight hours away. Let me just say this. Venus, you are beautiful. You are fierce. Uh, you are 24. Um, I'm all for it. Data analyst, I'm somewhat familiar with uh, that kind of major uh, and, and what you do. So uh, I'm rooting for you. I hope you go far. You're going to make the merge. And uh, Venus, 
right now, uh, you're my winner pick. Oh wow! Oh, winner I just, pick. I, that's not the path. That was not the path I thought he was about to go. The way he started that statement, I thought he was, I was waiting for that butt. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, I, I'm hoping like, to see it. <laughs> well, but this is this is just okay. off this. This is this is the last person of the Nami tribe. I'm assuming. Yeah. So, uh, out of yeah, that's that's where I'm going. And then this is going to be going into the merge with numbers. Yeah. Yep. 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 My my one and, fear is if they lose one, I think she does come across as the smallest. And then if you have people be like, "Oh, well, we need blah, 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 for something for tribe shank," she could be vulnerable. But I would I don't want that. No, there's there's Tevin and Aubrey. What's her name? Yeah. Yeah, Aubrey. Aubrey. No, too. no, Ro- Ro- Yeah, uh, Aubrey Russell. Uh, right, Aubrey, Aubrey Russell. Russell. Yes, yeah. Aubrey Russell's uh, going before Venus. Yeah, or sure. so help me, I will find you, season forty-six or whatever number you call yourself, and <laughs> we will fix this. Uh, yeah, uh, she yeah. too is my winner pick. Now I'm sticking with uh, Hunter McKnight so far. All right. All right. Yeah, I don't. Ha- I'm not picking my winner pick yet. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, Good. I'm, st- I'm still on Hunter, but I, this tribe's going to do well in the pre-merge. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's, so, let's, so we 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 all have post merge. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Or the survivor gods hate us. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty Basically. much we're around on this. Okay. Basically. All right. Next tribe. What? Hey, this tribe's are. Where's okay. there's a, there's a okay. complaining. This is perfect. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, just I'm had, so we far had, down with this one tribe. person that we're like uh about and this, this, this is, is my favorite start. tribe in the history of the new mm-hmm. era already without one episode. Yep. Okay, so what can go wrong? All right. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Okay. I am out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. God, ben Katzman, 31 years old from Miami, Florida. Occupation musician. So here's the thing. I do like some of the things that I'm reading about Ben, which is he's motivated. He's passionate. I, I love those traits. Uh, he loves playing guitar, doodling, and chilling hard at the beach. That's a little uh, – if you say I'm into chilling hard at the beach, brah, that's a pretty douchey thing to say. You sure didn't say diddling? I'm just going to say first boot. I'm just going to – we could just skip – I mean, I'm going to say Wayne first and boot. I are, like, on a very similar wavelength Did, right now. Matt, are you yeah. sure I didn't say diddling and not, and not doodling? He's going to annoy the shit out of the tribe. He's going to suck at the challenge because he does nothing except play his guitar. Uh, yeah, dude, this guy. Does he get his guitar out there? Because I, I, I did see his little pre pre. No, and he's not going to get his drugs that he does until the day he leaves out there either. So he's going to go through withdrawal symptoms and be an insufferable yeah. pain in the so ass. So here's the thing. He, he wants to play like Nick Wilson or Cody Ass Muncher. Wow. Is it, wait, wait. Is his cousin on the on the cast? <laughs> I don't know. The only thing I will say is I do, he said he uh, used to run an independent record label. And he... Uh, produced you know like festivals and all this shit so like uh i do like the fact that this guy music was this guy's life because i i love music did you hear a song on the planet i did not hear a song you, you, you is I, it terrible i i wanted to punch my phone when i was dude also <laughs> but he is he is definitely going away he's going to be annoying I, I just by the who wears overalls i don't know, what, I don't know what's, what's, the, what's that wearing. shirt Dude, it looks like dude. he's wearing overalls with backwards. Those front pockets look. Like I think they are. Ass. Ass. Uh, okay, yeah, we, I, I, I don't like this guy really. We all know the background of like running festivals, and there's at least a hundred people that say they're helping to produce a festival that have literally nothing to do with the festival. Yeah. So I'm, it's like I'm sure he could he could have like, produced festivals, but I mean I'm yeah, sure like he, Firefest. Right, exactly. Yes. <laughs> like, do, you, do you think you think he knows Ja Rule? <laughs> yeah, I think he no. thinks he knows Ja Rule. Oh, is he like the guy that was going to save the festival? <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> this guy saves festivals, dude. He does look like that Billy guy. <laughs> this guy. guy. It's just like I. I feel like he's going to be this, this weird guy. like thing where like I think initially people are gonna be like oh fun person out and then they're gonna be like day two oh yeah. my god i need this guy off of my tribe i need him off my tv pre-merge <laughs> so if, if they can do god's yeah. work and do both pre-merge pre-merge 
pre merge. All right, no, we've yeah. seen we've seen this type before. Yes, almost all of them go pre merge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay. Oh, hold on. Three minutes per person. All We're right. doing great. Charlie yep. Davis, twenty six years old from Boston. He's a law student. We've seen these lawyers from Boston. We know what they do. Uh, oh yeah, Jake. Let's go, Jake. <laughs> yeah, this this Looks guy. a little different this time. This guy does not give me Jake vibes. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, Matt. No. Yeah, uh, he he. So three hobbies: running, oh. debating, and board games. So this is another one of those like nerdicon type people. I, I'm, I'm, I'm bored. First time I've said it, Wayne. Today. Uh, you get two he, more. He. Uh, the, the, I do. I will say this. He mentioned Spencer Bledsoe and oh. Christian Habicki. Oh. As players, I, I liked watching Spencer Bledsoe like his first season, and I played I like watching Spencer now. <laughs> yeah, Raymond. Raymond. I, I played the Durham Warrior Survival Challenge with Spencer Bledsoe. Really unique guy. So props to uh, mentioning him. Um, I just uh, biggest accomplishment being elected var uh, varsity cross country captain. Blah blah blah. Uh, Did he transfer from Duke? <laughs> No, I, I just, he said he's funny, goofy, charismatic. Another NPC. I, 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 uh, I I'm this guy get, does nothing look, for me. I'm going to say post merge just because, without looking at the rest of the tribe, he's probably one of the more athletic on the tribe and they're yes. going to be losing people quickly. And if they go tribe strength, I mean, he's not going to go, you know, mm -hmm. but they're, they're, I don't, yeah. I don't think Sega is going to do very well in the three tribe format, and we'll probably no. lose a couple of Sega. They're players. they're waiting for that swap. Yeah, yeah. I, he's pretty yeah. merge all day for me. I, I think he'll be post merge, but I don't think he'll have numbers to help him through, and he'll just be like stranded on one of the two tribes. No, like I think I think Matt's on the money. I think he he will be one of those people with a purple head that only shows up on his boot episode. Okay. Does is his luxury item a hair dryer? He's <laughs> he's, he's got like Corey Feldman like 1986 hair. <laughs> he does. Yeah, Johnny, what do you think? <laughs> oh, pre merge. Post? I, I, I yeah, right. pre merge. I, Next, yeah. Mariah Gaynor, uh, 28 years old. Uh, what is Saint it with Diego overalls? Yeah, right, more more overalls. Uh, Why do they just put all the dumpy people on one tribe? Uh, well, this this will be the first third of our season is watching these guys before tribal every episode. Uh -huh. uh, she is she is from San Diego, which we all know is Spanish. Whale's vagina. Whale's vagina. That's true. Um, and she is a that's program true. coordinator. Once again, it's a make believe position. It does not exist. Yeah. Uh, Gloria, her mom is a uh, Gloria, Gloria Gaynor is her uh -huh. mom, and so this is Mariah Gaynor. Uh yeah, give 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 us some facts. Sp oh, some okay, okay. So, what survivor would you most play the game like? She says Nick Wilson. This is the this is a season of it, wait. Is, are Wilson they the cousins? These are two cousins. I don't know, but uh, are we, so, we, hey, well, uh, I got a question for Alex. This is uh, Johnny F in North Carolina. Would you say they're kissing cousins, Alex? Only time can tell. <laughs> okay, I just. <laughs> So she likes uh, <laughs> brewing beer, which that's a, that's Whoa, a plus. Right. Surfing, another plus. Okay. And Dungeons and Dragons, which oh. we all know is kind of an, a, a nerdy thing. But hey, I'm I'm cool with it. Hey. I have friends that do Dungeons and Dragons. Sure. Uh, wasn't uh, Zach, Zach Hacker. Hacker? Yeah, Zach Hacker. Yeah. Um, I've done D Dungeons and Dragons. I don't brag about it, and it will not be in my origin story. I assure you. Uh, I think a, I think everyone, a lot of people have played Dungeons and Dragons at some point in time. All but Matt. it's not something I it's not something I would put on my application. Yeah, Wayne, you played Dungeons and Dragons once, right? I've played it before for a podcast, <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I know what it is. It's it's fun, but I just it's a commitment. Like if you play, it's like you have a group of friends and you play all the time, and it is a thing that you enjoy doing and it, it's fun i wouldn't take away from it i, I think i think it, i think stuff. it is i think it's, it's helpful in the sense of like improv in in, mm -hmm. in one regard like not like if you're not going to be good enough to do stand-up comedy like you could do this and like it helps with your creative thinking and processes like mm -hmm. that i but it, it's this weird thing where every season back-to-back -back seasons they cast people that are supposed to be like similar 
So you have the dude three four that I've already forgot his name. Yes. NPC and who's supposed to be the dollar store version of Jake Khan yeah. uh, from last season. Yeah. This person is our quirky person who likes uh does bartending and some stuff so she's she's the kendra uh yeah. from last yeah, season. i like kendra yeah yeah so like i i i'm looking more positively at mariah yeah. she says she second guesses herself and that's not a good thing i think if you can't make a decision quickly on the fly on survivor when it's like especially this shorter new era game where you have to like really kind of go full force all the time i think she's going to be overwhelmed by the game that is Survivor, I think she's pre-merged. Wayne, yeah, I'm probably gonna say pre-merge on her. Alex, I'll say post-merge. Uh, Mariah is lucky in that we haven't seen the rest of this tribe yet, or I haven't. Uh, and a whole other tribe, and a whole other tribe. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to give her benefit of the doubt against better judgment. <laughs> and I'm going to say right around the merge, but post merge. So okay. I don't hate her. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's a compliment, but, it, it, and if you're looking to make t-shirts, there's your shirt. Johnny Fairplay doesn't hate me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did not say I liked you. So yes. Note, note that, put an, put an asterisk. So, uh, yeah, so, no, I, I, I would I would love to be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tim Spicer. OK, 31 years smile. old, Atlanta, Georgia, college coach. Uh, Morehouse represent. Uh, have you heard him talk? I have, I have not. He has a very odd voice. <laughs> <laughs> odd, odd high voice. Odd, odd voice. Uh, I want. I, I, I he was. I saw him on uh, Wendell's Insta feed earlier, and I was like, "Holy moly!" Uh, I like him, but the voice is something. It, it is not what you expect. <laughs> My other thing I fear for him is I think he's like he's almost the Bruce of this group of like the oh, thing yeah. that doesn't fit. Definitely, definitely Bruce vibes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm Here. Nervous. Okay. Let me just let me just drop some science right now. Oh, so he's you. this is the drop guy who says he wants Honor to play the game like Shamar. <laughs> That's the dude. So That's so dude. Tim, I hope you're voted at first, and you get a piece of like sand in your eye, and you cry, and Jeff Probst comes and talks you back into the game. Shamar is not anyone's role model. Sorry. No. Uh, and then when someone said, "What's a Tim Tam for showing up though?" What accomplishments are you most proud of, right? And then it lists like this, like book of uh, accomplishments. So I'm kind of like, uh, like I have a lot of accomplishments, but I'm not going to name them all in my survivor bio just because it's kind of like, uh, like I just maybe he just copy and pasted. He may have. So he's a homeowner. He introduced Barack Whoa, Obama. You're not allowed to say, oh, sorry. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> Completely misunderstood you there. Wow. Uh, <laughs> like, like Matt, Matt on the Russell Hands podcast over here. Dude, he says his friends would describe him as God's child. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck that means. Uh, uh, isn't Drake God's child? child? God. I, I guess we all are children of God. Uh, okay, so I don't know what is. you must be really oh, special. Not me. <laughs> You're a child of Satan. But uh, he's a college coach. Here's the deal. Uh, his three favorite hobbies, dating his wife, watching Survivor, and exercising physically and emotionally. I am going to root against you just because you <laughs> mentioned Shamar. Yes. I... First Dude, food. Uh, or actually, who says exercising emotionally? Get I, the fuck out of here. I am, no, I am, says, I am, no one, no one I that's going to get along with everybody else. Yeah, right. No one that gets along with other people talks like that. This guy is going to. Oh, wait, do you hear him talk? It, this, Tim, I I'm hope amending. I love you. This is my first boot. No, but, no, but that's, and that's also my Mariah. I'm like, I'm looking at the guys on this tribe. I'm like, they could all go with their first three boots. Yeah, Dude, Mariah's going to be like, you don't Shamar need was strength. The, Shamar was the biggest asshole of Karamoan. Uh -huh. I was out there with him. I thought I was yeah. going to love Shamar. 
I'm going through all the pregame casting at the hotel in Santa Monica, and I was looking at him and smiling. I thought Shamar was going to be the greatest person ever. No, day number one, minute one, he's the most lazy fucking asshole person on the fucking planet. And then he wants to quit multiple times, which they don't show on TV. Jeff Probst had to come to our island twice to talk him into staying. And then he gets evacuated in this poor military guy exit. And, oh, bye, Shamar. It's like good riddance, dude. You didn't well, want to be there. You were an asshole. And if you want to play like him, I feel sorry for you, Tim. Well, may, maybe Shamar is just his uh, fashion role model. And so, like, did, didn't uh, didn't didn't Shamar go with the the, the military fatigue? Uh, he outfit? did. He did. Maybe okay, that's so maybe maybe, maybe that's it's it. just his fashion inspiration for Survivor. Could be. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not high on the guys on this tribe. Uh, pre-merge. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not high on this tribe. You have to be high yeah. to like this tribe. <laughs> I'm Wait. very high, and I don't like this tribe. <laughs> well, I, was, I was about to ask, like, our high person correspondent Wayne, what are your opinions? I, I, I need to get high. Uh, <laughs> just, Dude, it, just... my uh, my weed vape percentage is at 69 percent too, so it's like nice. perfect. Oh wow, there's, uh, yeah, uh, uh. Matt pre-merge Wayne pre-merge first boot Alex my new oh, first, first boot, boot. Uh, yeah, yeah this uh, is, I'll, I'll lock I'll, it in I'll lock it in I won't change anymore I don't care I, I, I'll say my, my winner pick has not changed over to this tribe <laughs> no, oh no uh, I, I I like a I I think I like it's the, the personality I, I like I like I like first boot <laughs> I like him but I still like first boot mm. yeah yep. so, okay next Maria Shrime Gonzalez, 48 years young. See what I did there, folks? Dallas, Texas, parent coach. What the fuck a fucking <laughs> occupation is this? What the fuck is this tribe, dude? Sometimes <laughs> parents don't know how to parent. This is what I was scared we were getting three tribes of. This tribe. Oh, my God. Yeah, You know what? Every single time we see a new person, we're going to be like, Thank God for this Nami tribe. We get, this we get two. Tribe. We get two minutes. Yeah, we get two minutes on Maria. Uh, she Go. says she would like to play like Drea Wheeler and Natalie Anderson. Uh, um, no, you can't pick three. What is something no, that's we would? Like Drea Wheeler is. is, is Drea crazy. Wheeler's one person, but <laughs> oh, also yeah. the reason why we don't get at like how all the postseason coverage is not how it is. Why we don't get anything from Ponderosa is because of her. So don't don't play like her. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we want Ponderosa again. She said she ate a sheep's head in Morocco, which is All like, right. like yeah, a just go to a restaurant. Thing. Yeah, let, let's let's wait for this food challenge that you know they always do now. But here, yeah. here's one of the, part, it'll probably be a part of the auction. No, no, no auction. Think, that's not on the season. I, I am fully aware. Uh, she's 48, so she's probably one of the older people of the show, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, she lived in Costa Rica for a while to volunteer. Uh, one of the most transformation years of her life. Uh, blah 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 blah. Um Probably real nice. I mean, sure. stuck on stuck on an unfortunate tribe. You know, I'm gonna, you know, this tribe is a shit show, and your pre-merge Maria, based off of just numbers yeah. alone. I mean, honestly, the whole tribe is pre-merge, but like some <laughs> yeah, of them the are entire get tribe is gone. Right? Oh, no, uh, like, uh, what's got Mariah? Mariah, how long would that Mariah be? finds a way to survive. She, she yeah, survive. Mariah's okay. by herself. There's a shot of her, and they like Jeff comes like. It's a merge. Which tribe do you want to go to? Because you've lost five in a row. <laughs> like, yeah. so, and she's going to the orange tribe, and they're losing their first one to trim the fat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna hedge my bet here because we haven't seen this other tribe yet. Yeah. No. So I'm gonna say this girl's going into the post merge. <laughs> oh God, you're insane. All right, uh, Matt. Pre merge. I already gets three okay. pre mergers on this tribe. I'll, yeah, I'll say post merge just by math. I mean, no. she seems nice enough. I mean, she'll get along with somebody. Hopefully, it's the right person. She doesn't even have a real just... parent coach. Like, who do... who doesn't know how to parent? Yeah, but I mean, honestly, there's plenty of people that don't know how to parent, but they're not going to a coach to figure it out. So here's what I'm just kind of by what she's saying is like stuff like I get like some Chrissy vibes where it's like, I don't really know what's happening, you know, it just like kind of goes along, but yeah. All right. Uh, my official guess, uh, in a in a new twist for season forty six, 
double elimination first boot. It's, it's her <laughs> and the other dude. And that's triple elimination. The entire tribe's wiped out. Overalls is out. The last guy with the high voice and then Maria. Ca- so, casting comes casting comes up like Sega, you know, you might want to know why we put you all together and like why? Like we fucked up. You're all out. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing yeah. a 14 day season with two tribes of six. Get ready. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff just watched the footage of Brandon trying to climb the ladder, and we're we are we are course correcting. Like, we okay. fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. Next drive. Here we go. What's oh no, we got one more. No, we have one more. Oh, here's who skates through. J- Jamila, Jim, Damn, Hussein, <laughs> Adams, thirty-two years old, Chicago, Illinois, international brand mentor. Fake job. Uh, <laughs> does that mean she's an influencer? Yeah. If she isn't, she's about to be. She's about to be. Yeah, yeah. sweetie, you should have been on Big Brother. This is not the show for you. <laughs> she's well, she's I, I like away from the challenge. Yeah. I like her. Like, like she's super cute. Uh, she was like Johnny. She says uh, Kelly Wentworth, Tony Flacco's Boston Rob. That's who she wants to play like. Dad? She you is from uh, South America and not system. Indian. People think she's Indian, but she's not. She's from South America. Um. She is proud of a lot of things. Surviving the U.S. is probably her busy, biggest accomplishment. After I moved here, I had uh, no one to lean on. I wanted to give up multiple times and go back to uh, Guyana. However, I stuck it out. I like her perseverance. Uh, she's got a great smile. I think she's like super, super dope looking. And um, I think she's going to be physical. She's probably my favorite person of this entire tribe. So oh, yeah. I think she's really? going to make it to the merge. <laughs> what, and, uh, what, what was what was the ceiling? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but no, yeah. no. Uh, of the Je- five people that I hated, she was my favorite. <laughs> uh, Je- Gem and Gem and Mariah are the ones that, uh, per like just based off first impression, are the ones that I want to see do well. Yeah, the rest can go. Yeah, but well, I, I like. I, I like feel Jamila. I feel Gem like one of these things is not like the other. They're like. I feel like like I'm watching Wicked and they're and they're just like, yeah, you're the good guy. You got to go. So <laughs> like, they're like, we're we're all horrible. You can't play with us. So uh, she whoa. just needs to make it to the tribe swap. You know, oh, yeah. Things yeah. Up and, she, and then she's oh, Hunter, Hunter she McKnight. It, is pro- he's proposing. She makes it deep into the game. Yeah. She got married uh, last year and she had a bridesman. I just Googled her to see what came up and I found her like <laughs> wedding website website. She had four people on her side of the wedding, and one of them was a groomsman or a, a bridesman. So it Come says, on. anyway, right. I'm just saying, I just I found their wedding. She's making up stuff. This, this girl made up a career. Uh, made up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, no, but I, I, I like her. I, I, I hope she yeah. does well post merge. Me too. Not single. That is not helping her chances to get on the challenge. No, she's married. I, it, yeah. it gets her onto uh, USA season one. Yes. Are they are they doing USA again? It's up in the air. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, you know what? Maybe when Paramount Plus and Peacock come together and become a pair of cocks, we will get something better. Uh or or mounting cocks. They're 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 oh. they're workshopping both names, Paracox and, and Mounting Cox. Wait, we oh. yeah, we need to put that out there, put a poll out. Oh, <laughs> that that is literally two polls. You could call P Mount. Just don't, just don't show them to Matt. Yes. Oh my God, he he would lose his mind. So, uh, no. So the word on the street on that is, I guess Paramount is for sale, and if Peacock doesn't buy, they're just killing it. Rumor and innuendo. Hmm. I was talking. Well, to I a, heard there was. I, was I heard there was a couple other. Internet. I heard there was a couple other uh, st- streaming services that were in line, but Peacock's like the front runner. Yeah, but but if, if it's not if they don't merge then and and they're not purchased, they're, they're so 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 they'll they'll quit and leave the island. Yes. So, uh yeah I, I I uh Matt where you got merge pre merge oh merge yeah for sure she merge. Keep in the game yep Alex merge yep post merge yeah post merge here. 
I this mean, is the one who makes it to a new upside. Trade. Winner upside. Yeah, this is the one who makes it to a new tribe and is like, "Thank God I have real people to play with." Oh yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's what happens. And yeah. she like immediately folds in on an alliance and like flips on her Sega strong folks or whatever. Yeah. Or or that's when the other tribes that she swaps with are like, "Oh, she's the normal one in that group." Yeah. Yep. Send her away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next tribe, Yanu tribe. Uh, isn't isn't Yanu from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? That's Mary oh, Poppins. Mary Yandu. Poppins. Yeah, Yanu. Pretty positive. Yanu. Someone. Someone. Oh, was it Yanu? Mm -hmm. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do not know. Uh, Banu Gopal. I don't want to mispronounce it. Uh, for. I think I think I did good. 41 years old from Acton, Massachusetts. IT quality analyst. Once again, made up job. There's no such thing. It doesn't even make sense. There, I like his fit. He's got a good fit. Is it, Matt, isn't that what you do? No, not at all. Okay. Okay. I do work technically in IT, but I'm not an IT quality analyst. He wants to play the game like John Cochran. This is Nasir. This oh. is Nasir 2.0. Uh, I feel... Oh, maybe no no seer didn't want to play like john cochran no but uh i feel this person is energetic disciplined and passionate they love dancing swimming and yoga uh and their greatest accomplishment accomplishment becoming a citizen of the united states of america i will say there are a lot of diverse people from many different countries on this season so if if i like that if, if cbs yeah. is trying to be more diverse they are doing something in the right direction because we are seeing different people from all walks of life yeah. which is what survivor intended to be mm -hmm. we, we kind of just would hope that there be less nerd type people and like maybe like uh yeah, yeah or cool know. diverse people yeah, <laughs> yeah right. right and that's that possible. Own that's 3D, possible. 3d printers yeah i think there's some um, cool people so far Not yeah, as yeah I, I do i yeah, do, too. That, I, I, do too. I think i think i let perception of what other people were saying get to me prior to actually looking at this cast because they're yeah. everyone was saying it was like super nerd armageddon type of thing of like yes. oh my god this is the end of times because yeah because so their videos need clicks uh he is not i don't watch the videos uh but i don't get this year because i can't look at him and go like this is banu no no there's only you i i get this is this year and it's I met Nasir. Nasir's awesome. He is um, awesome. You were there when we took the the photo together. Yeah. 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 His, his um, arms are bigger than lots yeah. of things. <laughs> yes. Uh, but Bonnie at least gives off the vibe. I think he's probably going to be like the athletic one of this tribe without seeing the other five people. So I I, I think that already gives him a better standing. At least yeah. to start out for for first few rounds, so I'm gonna say post merge for him. Yeah, and and if we have the if we have the two what appear to be athletic guys from the first tribe making it through, Banu makes it through. Usually the those guys tend to work together. You know, it that yeah, may uh, be us, every yeah. that may be everyone else working against them, but you do there is the solace of you know those guys. So yeah, I. I, I me personally, I'm 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 post merge. I'm post merge. I, say, I, I like I like the cut of this guy's jib. I yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say post merge. I'm concerned that he's the one who's gonna become the yoga instructor uh for those cut no. scenes that we oh, have to have on every no. season. Yeah, because the producer say, Hey, why don't you go teach the tribe yoga? Hey, the sun's coming up, scene. it's yoga class time. Yeah, it's so it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, David Jelinski, 22 years old. Las Vegas, Nevada. He is a slot machine salesman. Uh, well, uh, it, here's the deal. So, so he is the youngest castaway of this season. Of all he, time. He is the child of uh, two um, drug addicts, right? So he, his mother and father were. You drug don't know addicts. that. That's what it says in his bio. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> Uh, you're making insinuations. I was like, just because of the long hair and, and, like, and, wow. shitty, like, wow. and shitty tribal tattoos, that you, you can't assume that to be the case. <laughs> but he, well, um, he, he basically says that he wants to, here's the funny thing. He wants to play the game like Fabio, Sammy, 
Russell, Tyson, and Rick Devins. David, that is a craziest answer I've ever You know uh, what? Heard. Subtract subtract Russell. There, there is, I feel like there is a also Venn diagram. Rick Devins. Uh no, because Rick Devins, Rick Devins got a very kind edit. He's an aggressive player. And I feel that that, that those guys play, you know, chaotic games. Well, it, it, it's more in my sense of I always look at Rick Devins. I think he's oh, he's a bit overhyped, Ooh. and on a on a on any other style season that wasn't Edge of Extinction, he's a pre merger, and we never see that at it. I don't I don't think Devins gains the confidence that he did on a, on a different format. Exactly, and we're not having that format here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad I'm glad he was on the format because I I love the 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 player. The character that, is great. Yeah, but, but I even love the player that he became like it but I think it was all the, the growing of the confidence made him that player. But you know mm -hmm. like yeah, and under different circumstances, you know, he doesn't gain that confidence and he doesn't steamroll, you know. Right. Through, through to the end. So, uh wow. Uh the I shitty don't know. The shitty tattoo is really working against me. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say post merge. I, I mean, you got two parents that are drug addicts. You've gone through some shit. You're a That's slot true. machine and salesperson in Las Vegas. You're only you've also, you've years also old. seen some shit. <laughs> you're only 22 years old, but you I guarantee you've lived a life and you're a salesperson, so you know how to talk to people in the place where people get smoozed the most, which is Las Vegas. Like. He's going to have some specific intangible skills. Plus, he looks like he's in pretty good shape. Could probably be an asset to the tribe. Like, probably good to get along with. I'll bet this guy is post-merge. I'm even going to say, like, winner upside on this guy, to be honest. I, I, I mean, I'm can, not going to say winner. I could see a dark horse there. I could see a final three, and we all know he's not going to win, you know, to be fair. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be post-merge. He's a little young, uh, even though he's been through a lot. I still think he's going to get schooled um, by some more. I, I think he's going to do good socially, though, or excuse me, do well socially. I, I, I uh, I'm looking forward to watching David play. Yep. Yeah, I, I think he's someone who's going to be have like he's one of those people who who will have a very low floor, but has the potential to have a very high ceiling. Mm hmm. And I yep. think it's, it's all paramount how that first um, that first day or two or that really the first round goes for him. Because if he yep. goes in and he's like a little bit of a wild child, like stir crazy. Like, oh, my God, I'm on Survivor. Let me scheme all that. Then he's going to go out early. If he's not that and he's just being a social guy. Yeah, he's making a decent run. He's yep. giving me Cody ass muncher vibes. And... No. <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, what, 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 what was it that Cody ass muncher uh, sold uh, escalators or whatever? Elevators. Oh, yeah. Elevators. <laughs> no, he does not sell shit. <laughs> he might sell jet skis. Cocaine. <laughs> Cocaine is the answer you were looking for, Wayne. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No, he sells know. elevators, mostly the kinds that go up. <laughs> yeah. Code. That's, that's, what, that's what you text him. Elevator. Yeah. yeah I need an elevator going yeah. up. <laughs> I need an eight ball elevator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, you, I know you want Which to go floor? to the eighth. I'd floor. like to go to the eighth floor. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. No, yeah. I love, I love Cody ass muncher. I, I see, I see him playing a very Cody S game, but hopefully peeing on less stuff. Mm. Yeah. I, I I hope I'm right about this guy. Yeah. I got I got I got post merge and, and I and I, I I definitely see your dark horse saying I contender, contender, contender. So that's good. good Not good. champion yet, but a contender. Yes, yes. <laughs> Jess Chong, yeah. uh, 37 years old, uh, soft, uh, San Francisco, California software engineer. Hey, it's a real job. Um, she wears uh, zebra print. Uh, blue Some and black Debbie in there. Uh, oh, is that is that? Uh, uh, I don't know. What, Matt, give me, give me, uh, give yeah. me the four one one. Is the cool kid set? Yes. Yeah, so, so she loves sewing her own clothes, riding bikes around San Francisco with her husband. Uh, she likes to binge watch eighty percent of a TV show, and then she panics about where the time has gone, 
and then reads recaps of the remaining 20% of the show online. I think that's a very odd answer. Um, she's, emp she's empathetic, tenacious. Uh, she has an identical twin, and she likes to play Which the game. Which one's like going to be on Survivor? Ty, Gabby, or Marianne. Uh, for me, Jess Chong is another NPC player. Yeah, NPC. Yeah, it, it's, it's unfortunately giving those vibes. Um, uh, I, I hope the hope is that maybe she has a little more personality, like on the actual island. Yeah. So, and then we're gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe we said she was gonna be some NPC. And we leave episode one or episode two being like, oh my god, just is Jess Chong really yes, funny? Is the best. Yeah, exactly. Because I think, I I, yeah, that that's the vibes. Like, I don't get like winner upside. Obviously, I don't get deep run into the game upside with her. She, like, she's a, someone who I could potentially see being the first person voted out of her tribe. But mm -hmm. if she's not, like, I I think she's probably gonna be like a little bit like of a quirky character for them. If, if they win Alex, a sewing machine reward, she's, uh, she's, she's, Oh, I was gonna she's say, she's Johnny low, Fairplay up a, a speedo. Yeah. This is another low floor, high ceiling player for me. I, I like I'm not as, of, I don't think the ceiling's as high as high. No. And no, she doesn't appear to be that tall. So there's it that. Kinda just that yeah, that's on, partially like, why that's partially why <laughs> it's kind of like, how does she, appear within those i mean you'll know within 10 minutes right exactly where she's gonna fall but yeah who is who is her player she wants to play most like uh who did i say i just skipped it hold on it I was can tell you. ty gabby and marianne yeah ty mm -hmm. gabby and marianne. Yep, yep, Ooh, yep. wow all right uh yeah uh another contender for fir first boot yep I was my, my pre merge yeah this is my first boot contender for this tribe, but I, I'm sticking with my other one. But for this tribe, I think she's first boot for the tribe. I, mean, I love Ty, but Ty, Ty will tell you that he's not good. <laughs> yeah, and, and and also you can't be Ty. They don't give you live chickens anymore. Yeah. They do not. Uh, well, no, they have robot chickens. It's a TV mm -hmm. show. Uh, that's yeah. so true. It's on Adult Swim. Yeah. All right, uh, Kinsey Vurink. 29 years old, Charlotte, North Carolina, salon owner. For the record, this is Dan Monchel's winner pick because she's it's from the Charlotte. tattoos. No, she's from Charlotte. Okay. That's it. <laughs> so uh give me uh drop drop some, drop some uh, knowledge. Uh, no, yeah, drop, yeah, drop, drop that no, science no, 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 no. on us, drop, like you said. Drop some beats. <laughs> All right. Go with so she loves uh, jigsaw puzzles, fantasy romance no uh, novels, playing cards. She's positive, creative, perseverant. Uh, she wants to play the game like Marianne. She's a savage in Catan. I'm assuming that's like a board game a, type yeah, thing. Yeah, Catan. Settlers of Catan. Catan. Uh, now she opened up a salon, which is like her her you know big thing she did with no business degree, and then. Maybe she had uh, no business opening up a salon. Whoa! Then, then COVID shut it down. I I like that she's heavily tattooed. I can't really tell what's going on, but uh, I really enjoy the thought that she is a hairdresser. She's got tattoos. She's probably quirky and uh, got my hair cut many a times in my life by pretty badass uh, chicks at a hair salon. So Kenzie, I'm rooting for you. I think uh, on this tribe you're going to do well, and I think if they if they can make it to merge, she's going to team up with like Hunter McKnight and some of these other people to try we're, to we're really putting everyone with Hunter McKnight. <laughs> <laughs> running the show, brother. Hashtag Hunter McKnight. <laughs> it's Kenzie. Hunter McKnight and all of the girls. <laughs> I, I like Kenzie. Uh, I like your dress. I think you're, uh, you know, going to do well in the game. He's Wayne, like, I right. just need someone who's tatted up to uh, actually do well in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Other than like Vandenberg. But, <laughs> yeah. but getting... I, I will say, like, so this, I like the salon owner type of thing. So I feel like to run like a salon and also like it's people skills above all else. Like, yes, you need to actually be good at what you do, but it's people skills. Uh, so, like, if she yeah. has that type of vibe with people, I could see her and, um, and new Cody Ass Muncher do well as like oh, a, yeah, yeah. As those, a pairing. Those will join up. Yeah. Yeah. Like I could I could see that becoming a vibe. I'm very surprised that Marianne is the new like 
the new era one to throw in. Like I, I personally was a Marianne fan, but it's I it wouldn't be. It's good TV, but I'm also like it's sort of hard for you to say like, oh, I want to play like Marianne. Like, well, how do you want to play like Marianne? Are you saying you're a big character? Yeah. And then can have a good end game because like you right. you can't predict that. Yeah. So I don't know. And it, we also have a winner that you know does hair, and she she didn't mention him. That's true. She did not. Um, yeah. So I will say this: there is a uh, there's a, a public relations firm in Charlotte that uh, I reached out to last season when I was doing my survivor viewing party in charlotte and then also my house of villains viewing party in charlotte with Jax taylor from vanderpump rules hmm. so i reached out to this pr thing i was just like hey we're coming loved love for you guys to stop by feel free to repost any of the stories or posts that i've done you know i'd love to love to you know take care of you guys you're more than welcome you know uh little little tit for tat little you know just a little little pub greatly appreciated nothing saw saw the messages read the messages nothing okay fine they announce this beautiful young woman is going to be on the new season oh they're all over her her their their social media it's like oh we got we got a, we got a survivor from charlotte look at here look at here not that i hold grudges dear pr firm in charlotte do not come to my fucking viewing party in Charlotte. I'm not saying Kenzie's going to be there because she's not allowed to. However, I'm telling you, PR firm, don't come to my fucking party in Charlotte. Send him a message. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> hey, remember how I invited you last time? You're not invited. You are not. I, I will personally walk you out. So. Yeah. so I don't even know what you look like, but I'll find out. I will fucking find out. Oh, no. Dan knows who they are. Oh, perfect. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're busted. Do not. Dan come. will walk you out. <laughs> Dan will walk All right. you out. So, so, yeah. So, Dan's, uh, Dan's new girlfriend, Kenzie. Post merge. Yeah. V post and merge. Yorick, uh, Kenzie V, the V is for Vendetta that I am holding against the PR firm in Charlotte. <laughs> not, not Kenzie. She, she will be post merged for the viewing party that she's not allowed to be at. So, she won't. Mm. Uh, she won't be there. And uh, yeah, survivortix.com. That's survivortix.com. It takes about Okay. This might be yes. it. I mean, do uh, I think we have two more? Two more. Okay. Yeah. Two right. more. Q, Q. Birdette, a man I so cool that. he didn't need more than one letter. He's I loved your work. In your old old jokers. Yeah. Twenty-nine years old from Memphis, Tennessee. He's a real estate agent, or as uh, the cool kids say, realtor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so Q enjoys fishing, riding four wheelers, and building houses. He considers himself brave, polite, and proud. Uh, his friends would say that he's crazy and risk taking. Uh, what survivor would you most play like? Bits and pieces from a lot of players. That's the most vague, generic answer I've ever heard. Q. Really? I don't watch he doesn't this show. name any. He does not name. He says bits and pieces from a lot of players. Like I have not watched this show. You have. You don't even know who anyone is, which could be a great <laughs> thing. You look physically like a badass. Yeah, he wears uh, his shirt like Johnny Bananas, so he's got that going for him. Yeah, I was gonna say you said he only he only so cool he only has one letter. He also only has one button. One button. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he took a risk. He, uh, he's one of seventeen children. Wow. My dad so was. I, I bet you his parents were like, "Fuck, we call our kids A, B, C, D, E." Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> say is his oldest brother A, yeah, yeah. then B, then C. Yeah. Dan, R, R and S are his two older siblings. Uh, That's I, funny. I, I, I like Q Burdett. Uh, Q, I, I, you're, you're going to make it. You're, you're going to be one of the strongest physical players uh, yeah. in the game, period, bar none. And he, and he gives me recruit vibes once again. Yeah. We don't have a problem. Like all the fuss over recruits all, all those years ago. I remember yeah. those being great seasons. They so, are. I, we don't want Brandon's. Like, wasn't that the guy who couldn't climb a ladder last like, time? Like, we don't need a Mactor, but we can take recruits. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, this, guy, this guy has recruit written all over him. Once again, doesn't even can't can't yeah. name one survivor. Yeah. I, I love you too. And after seeing this, I feel so bad 
for that green tribe. That green oh, tribe God. is. <laughs> well, they're going. They're, be... They they are going to get onto that island. Look at both sides. They'll see Hunter and McKnight on one end. They're going to see Q and on the Q. other end. And be like, they're going to be like. Where's our cue? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, there it's the cue to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Exit stage right. <laughs> oh, ask the actor Kevin. He'll tell you. <laughs> He'll be there. He'll be at the, at the Ponderosa enjoying sheep's head. <laughs> With, and don't worry, he has all the hot sauces. <laughs> all the hot sauces. <laughs> Prefer the Texas beef. No, I, I I like Q. Q gives that. Q gives more of, um, for me, like that Nasir vibe of like, he's just gonna be like, he's gonna be good at the challenges. It's like, maybe his tribe even wants to lose one. He's like, nope, I'm just gonna win it for us anyway. Yeah, I'll just go and ahead. Then, and then like, look at the smile. Yeah. And then they're gonna, like, well, I can't be mad at that smile. Yeah. I'm and buying a house on. from this guy. Look at, you don't wanna buy a house from Q? Yeah. And not mm. only is he gonna sell you, he'll, he'll build the house. Uh, yeah, he's good. House for you. Hey, oh, I, I guarantee he helps you bring in the mattress. <laughs> He'll supply the lumber. <laughs> ah, there we go. All right, post merge. Wayne, uh, where are you at? Yeah, I'll say post merge just because I think Sig is going to go zero and five. Yeah, yeah. And Alex, post merge. Yeah, post merge. Post merge here too. I don't think I don't think he has all the tools to win it all. Not my winner no. pick, but. Uh, I, I potentially uh, could go far. And mm -hmm. uh, this last one? Do the last one. The last one, Tiffany Irvin. Tiffany Irvin, 33 years old, Elizabeth, New Jersey. That's how Macho Man says, Elizabeth. Uh, <laughs> and wearing a Hulkamania uh, uh, hoodie for those of you that are listening and not watching. Um, she is an artist. Once again, made up profession. Um, <laughs> unless... She is a sandwich artist, and that means she works at Subway. Uh, <laughs> well, she has three hobbies, and I, I don't know how to decipher these Only hobbies. Three? Are, they, uh, are they cutting bread, applying mayonnaise, and, and uh, an assortment of meats? No, but listen to this, Johnny, and you can maybe kind of elaborate on this. Oh, sure. Uh, three hobbies. Uh, three of their favorite hobbies, sorry. Painting, photography, and then it says, does eating out count as a hobby? <laughs> so, so yes, I, yes ma'am <laughs> winner pick <laughs> i mean it's my personal pastime but you know uh, i i i too am a fan of eating out tiffany yeah and i would say that it's a hobby comma, eating out comma tiffany <laughs> it's a so, job in these place in these parts yeah I lo I love her smile and the vibe. Of, happy of wife, her. happy life, right? <laughs> she here's the thing. She I she says I love 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 playing the lottery. Uh, she so she loves gambling. So but she I, likes having sex without a condom. <laughs> I think she's gonna play. A, she might be the one. You know, this went full circle. You thought it was Perry McKnight that was doing keg stands and having a lot of unprotected sex. It's Tiffany Irwin it's just Tiffany eating Irwin. out a lot and, and, yeah. and playing the lottery. <laughs> hey, there you she, go. Life's she lottery. Jer Jeremy or Shan. Uh, Jeremy, right. I, I like that reference. Yeah. Uh, I like, hey, for, before hey, Shan had a great pre-merge. Before everyone yeah. hated Shan, they loved Shan. Yeah. yeah, and I still do. Yeah. Sorry, Ricard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know Ricard's watching. I'm so sorry. She, she's no, gonna. I love Shan. So she's, she's gonna fun. do well. Tiffany's gonna do well. I, I, I yeah, like yeah. her. She's she's gonna. I like this tribe too. This is a cool cool tribe. Yeah, I, I final, can't believe final three right here. Yeah, our final our, fi our final um our final thirteen is just um the one um gem from the green tribe. Yeah. And then it's just the full tribes of um, uh, the Nami tribe and the Yanu tribe. And there oh, you yeah. go. There's your merge. All right. I, I'm going post merge. Wayne, post merge. Yeah, I'm going to say post. And Matt. Oh, yeah. Final three. All right. All right. Before we get winter picks, is this the, I mean, I know there's been a lot of people complaining, you know, without even seeing, like, we, we were behind the curtain. We kind of were. Uh, this is the best new era, new era casting yet. I'm I'm intrigued on paper. Well, here's the deal for on me. On picture, 
So I'm trying to keep an open mind yeah. uh, with with this Survivor seasons, right? Um, there's definitely been some post season forty seasons that I have really despised and kind of had trouble podcasting because it's like I want to give my opinion, but I also don't want to shit on the show that I love for the <laughs> listeners that are listening for us to talk about the show that they love, right? So it's a, it's a fine line. I was kind of uh, going into this with a lot of people saying like this cast is the worst like nerds like just like chatter amongst the internet and whatnot i had not looked at any of these people except maybe a couple things randomly to pop through i wanted to give my honest brutal opinion now i'm pleasantly surprised by a lot of these people to be honest with you uh i feel I like a lot recruits. of recruits i'm yeah. i'm totally down with recruits and here, so uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna have a good season. Uh, I hate three tribes. I'm just gonna say it. Yes. Three tribes is bullshit. I fucking hate it. So I hope they switch the tribes up quickly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I love uh, Tiffany. My my winner pick is uh uh um rock and roll sale uh the Las Vegas. Um, For, uh, David, David, yeah, I'm I'm sick. I'm gonna go with David. It's probably a bold move, but I'll look like a genius if I pick it right. Yeah, I like it. Okay, you know My what? Pick, I like I like it so much. I'm changing mine to him. Yeah, I like him. Oh, I thought you were gonna uh, switch it to Tiffany. Yeah, no, I, the, the shitty ink is working against him, but, I mean, that's why he needs to win Survivor. He's got to go see Dr. Will, do the tat off, and then get yeah. some good ink. Yep. There's no possible way that a 22-year-old is going to win Survivor. I don't know, man. Fabio it's the new won. era. It's the new era. Was he 22? Damn. Fabio was, like, 20. Yeah. Wow. And, yeah, awesome. dude, it's, yeah, and scored, it's a, scored a limousine and man. some mushrooms, brother. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You got to be a good salesperson to be a slot machine salesperson in Las Vegas. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That, that, like, it's like selling ice to Eskimos. No, but right. it's like you, you got to be top of your shit because yeah. I mean, there's I, competition. I, I, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, he could be, uh, he could be bad at it. I he guess could, he could be a very, bro. yeah, but, that, 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 that's true. But I mean, but look, half the people have, have make believe jobs. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think this guy, I mean, I, I like David. I don't know what I'm night, but I, I, I'm going to go. I, I like I like dark. I mean, it's more fun that way, right? Let's go. I'm going dark horse with Wayne on this. I also like Jem. Yeah, and I like. Well, I like funny Tiffany. you say that oh. because I'm I'm going to pick the person that survives this Green Tribe massacre. I'm going to go with Jem. I was thinking of yeah. doing David, but I knew you were going to do David. So I'm like, I need to pick someone different. Oh man, so it makes gonna, me feel go good that you were going to David. That means I'm onto something. You're so smart. I, I know. I know some people who know David outside okay. the show. Yeah, and okay. they 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 were saying some rave reviews about him. Okay. So I I, I have it with a big pinch of salt. I right. want to see him do very very well though. But I also love soda. Do I need to? Get I know. Like, soda, soda, I soda and Hunter are the two from our uh, from the Orange Tribe. I'm feeling good about. Yeah. You know what? I just like you, I just you know don't David. Know. You go, David. You go, Jim. I'm going soda. Matt, where are you going? Pop, pop. Oh, I, uh, Venus was oh, my yeah. original winner pick, but yeah. I, I'm going to stick. I was going to change it to Hunter McKnight, but I'm going to I'm going to go with Venus. Uh, Venus stick Vapa. with Venus. That's Venus Vapa is my winner track. pick. First boot, Venus. You heard it here first. Matt Bischoff's <laughs> winner pick. You know. <laughs> hey, look, she's from Canada. And we've had some Canadian winners, Marianne and uh, the girl that, that with Erica. the hourglass twist. Erica. Uh, yeah, Erica. <laughs> the, the girl with two minutes of airtime. I remember her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. wait. Yeah. I do not. But, I, and... you know, I'm, I, you know, look, I know we all talk about Australian Survivor and how much it rules, which I, I haven't even begun watching this current season. However, oh, I've watched a lot of Australian Survivor. You'll see Survivor. in three years. I do not want to compare. I think they're they're such they're different shows. opposite shows. They're, they're, this is yeah. this is like two, two different shows. Oh yeah, which shows. Australian Survivor is far superior. Just just saying, far sure. superior. Yeah. But I'm excited to season see season forty six. And yeah. so Alex Trius and I will be back every 
uh, week after the episode when Johnny is not uh, at a viewing party. And when Johnny is in town, he'll be joining us uh, for the podcast. But uh, um, yeah, Johnny, do you have any uh, plugs that you want to do for the, the coming well, weeks? Well, that, Come see me. It's at- your job to have plugs, Matt. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. So uh, come see me uh, at Bryson Wynn's uh, uh, big premiere party in New York. Uh, follow at Bryson Wynn Present. Uh, links in the bio there. Uh, so I am I'm taking a couple weeks uh, break. Like I'm going to do the premiere and then I'm going to I'm going to rest a, a tad. And then if you guys don't mind, King George and Johnny Fairplay will be touring the United States. Uh, look for us in these cities: Los Angeles, Chicago. Durham, North Carolina, Cincinnati, Ohio, Fort Wayne, Indiana, and Charlotte, North Carolina. So go to SurvivorTix.com in the next week or so. Uh, go ahead and, and press the uh, follow so you get the updates when, when tickets are, are available. VIP will sell out on these. But yes, King George, one of my favorite survivors of all time, King George and Johnny Fairplay tour the U.S., and uh, I can say this, Chicago will be a extremely limited. I, I think we're, we're doing a, it's a private deal, uh, only VIP. And it, I, I think, I believe it's limited to 40 people. So, wow. and you'll get it, you'll get a uh, King George and Johnny Fairplay Chicago t-shirt. It's going to be uh, 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 free booze and wine. Pretty crazy. So, uh, so that, that one's going to be a special one. You want to get tickets the second they go on sale for that, because it's only 40, they're going to be gone probably in the first hour. So, but, uh, but yeah, Johnny, uh, go to johnnyfairplay.com or, or survivortix.com. Johnny Fairplay and King George across the U S how insane is that folks? That is that's insane. Gonna so fun. That's, that's going to rule. And, uh, Legend. listen, Legend. uh, reality after show listeners, uh, if, if you want to become a patron and hear our weekly Q and A's and all of which we have tons of past, uh, stuff that we've done. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not a patron, so I can't really go in and see, but there's probably <laughs> thousands of like videos and shit. If you <laughs> want to hear the true shit, if you want to hear the true shit, go and become a patron. All right, so peek behind the curtain. When we finish this podcast, we're doing the Q&A, and then Matt curses at me via text for the next three days, and then we, we begin the cycle every Monday. So <laughs> for those right. It's therapeutic. <laughs> for, for one of us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, stay tuned for next week for the Survivor 46 premiere right here live after the episode. We will be here breaking it all down. And just kind of looking back at our cast assessment, being like, "Oh, I was really fucking wrong about Way off. these people. These people yeah. rule." Venus. So uh, we we will see you uh, next week, everyone. Uh, so uh, be ready because I know we are, and uh, I'm excited for this season to get going. So cheers, everybody, and uh, good night, y'all. Boom. Bam. <laughs>